welcome to LED Info. My name is Ron. We're in the LED Info test lab. Today we're reviewing the Spider Farmer SF1000. And we're pretty excited today. This is the most expensive light that we've reviewed so far. Previously it was the Mars TS1000. But this one um, goes, I think, for just a little bit more than the Mars. Now the Mars tested fantastic. It had some really good numbers. So we're anxious to see how this light compares. And this is really what this is all about. We're here to provide a comparison tool for those of you that are shopping for LED grow lights. We've made a list of all the lights that we reviewed. It's in the description section. So if there's another light that you're looking for, check it out as possible that we've already reviewed it. Before we head over to the test chamber, we'll do a quick visual inspection. We want to check out the equipment and then any extra accessories that the light might have. All right, so here is the Spider Farmer SF1000, brand spanking new right out of the box. The light uses quantum board technology. It has a 12 inch by a 10 and a half inch quantum board. It has 270 LEDs. According to the specification sheet, the light uses white light, warm white light with additional red and infrared LEDs. And this is a very popular spectrum these days. Um, growers especially seem to like the infrared. They feel that it helps their plants with increased flowering. On the flip side, we have the very popular Meanwell driver, along with a nice power supply setup. It has an on and off switch, the all-important dimmer switch, as well as the daisy chain connectors. We should also note that in addition to the Meanwell driver, this light also uses the very high quality Samsung LEDs. So that's a nice combination between the Meanwell driver and the Samsung LEDs. Definitely a positive there. So I'm anxious to see how this one performs. Let's hustle over to the test chamber and we'll see what kind of numbers this one produces. We've been reviewing the Spider Farmer SF1000. We have the Spider Farmer in our test chamber blazing away. It's ready to go. It's hung at a level 12 inches of height. We're going to button up the test chamber and we'll have that all important dead center reading here coming right up for you. Okay, there it is, 830. That's dead center, 12 inches for the Spider Farmer SF1000. I'll complete the full PPFD grid. We'll post that. We'll also post the test lab review sheet. We'll take a look at the watt meter, see what the actual watt usage is, and then we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. So I want to thank you for stopping by. Hope you have a good one, and we'll see you next time.